Hello, everybody. Welcome to Circuit Crush TV, and I am back with the Key Studio Keybot Coding Education Robot for our Arduino build. And we are done. The robot is completely assembled here. And really, it actually was only a few more steps. However, it took me an additional 40 minutes for a 60 minute total assembly time to assemble this. And I'm going to go over that now and tell you why. You might remember during the unboxing, first of all, that there were two battery holders. Here's one. And then there was one that held six batteries, which we could see is mounted here. And the instructions give you the option to use one or the other, which is kind of weird because, you know, more batteries means more power. It's going to last longer and not die as quick. So... If you opt for the two battery holder, it attaches to the back like that. However, I wanted the six battery holder and that attaches here on top. But the, the problem was in order to screw it down because there's two screws and you can't see them because this is in the way, there's two screws that hold this thing on. And then there's nuts on the other side. The heads of the screws that you would turn with the screwdriver up here. And the nuts are here. But you can't see them because the motors are in the way. It, this this kind of got under my skin. But in order to mount and use this six battery holder, I had to remove the wheels, which just pop right off. No big deal. But I had to also remove the motors to be able to fasten the nut to hold this on. And then put the motors back on. So that was that was kind of annoying. After that, the other step was to mount the control board here, the Arduino based control board, which we could see. And then we could see there is a piece of acrylic plastic on top of it. And this is another area I got caught up, believe it or not, because the plastic, if you remember from the first video, the unboxing video, had some brown paper on it. Peeling the brown paper off, one side of this is smooth. But the other side has like the port numbers, the pin numbers, and then the key studio engraved into it. And I had to spend a good 10 minutes, and I don't have, you know, a lot of fingernails, so I do bite my nails, so full disclosure. But I had to spend a fair amount of time trying to peel off the brown paper. And we can see here there's still, still some of that paper. So I couldn't even get it all off. I figured I would just leave it there because now you can actually see it says... Um, it says Key Studio, and you kind of see their little logo and some kind of some kind of like ladybug or something. Anyway, once I was able to peel the paper off, of course, it was easy to fasten the plexiglass, um, acrylic, whatever this is, to here. And I assumed during the unboxing video that it goes underneath the board to keep the board from shorting, but I guess it goes on top just to protect it. Uh, there's these other four shorter pillars that had to be mounted on top of here and then it just screwed right onto here that was the easy part and after that we made some connections we connected the motors and we connected the battery case and we connected the sensors via these kind of funky looking flat cables um these are similar to rj11 like your landline phone jack only if you take a good look, is there's, there's an extra cable here. The little, this little piece is, instead of being in the center, it's off to, it's off to one side. So that's kind of weird. I don't know if they did it on a purpose. They give you one extra cable, but there's a total of eight jacks. So that suggests that, you know, you can do other things with this bot, that it, it can be upgraded or expanded. They probably have these cables this way, so you have to buy the various boards and sensors from them, I'd imagine. So that was pretty simple, plugging that in. And then, of course, here, during the first video, this board, I wasn't sure what it was. Turns out that this board is a Bluetooth module, and it kind of just plugs right in the top there. But there is one caveat with that board, and I'm, I'm going to read it to you right from the book. It says, Plug the HCO6 Bluetooth module into the control board. And then in parentheses it says, Note, please first program the module as a Bluetooth project mentioned below. Then plug it into the board. So the only thing I see below is a picture. And that's my writing over there. 
but I assume that before you use the board, you probably have to program it. I haven't gotten that far, but I don't believe that the board is going to work, and it just plugs right into this yellow jack here, and it only will go in one way, so it kind of guarantees you get it in the right way. But I assume you won't be able to use the Bluetooth until you do, I don't know if you program this board itself, but again, I haven't gotten that far. Um, next thing we're going to do is get into the IDE and some programming. So in the next video, we'll talk about that. But that's it. And it also came with this other board here. And this is just an LED. And this is just another jack. It fits right in. And this is just for experimentation. It's just an LED is all it is, you know, to make it light, blink, whatever, for the programming interface. It's not actually part of the robot. So that, that's kind of weird. That's the only other board that came with this is just th this little LED board here. So all in all, you know, this is a good solid kit. I mean, it's sturdy metal construction. It wasn't the easiest mechanically to assemble. So if you're buying this for a young child, they're definitely probably going to need some help with the assembly part because getting to, again, some of these areas to get the nuts onto the screws was pretty difficult. But it took me, like I said, an hour. Um, I had never built one of these before, and I did not read ahead really in the book at all, so I just kind of took it as it came. So I got 60 minutes wrapped up in this total. We're going to get into some programming in the next video. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, guys, and I will see you in the next video in this series. If you're interested in Arduino and microcontrollers, you'll love how to get started with Arduino in one day or less. Get instant access now by clicking the link below in the description.